Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to transfer over your iPhone to a Samsung Galaxy phone. Now this should work for all current generation iPhones and a little bit older ones as to all new Samsung Galaxy devices, so S3 and newer. Um, and uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to go to the internet and we're going to type in this right here samsungsmartswitch.com so we're just going to hit enter and then we're going to go to the website and as you see once we get to the website um, we're going to see right here that this is so that you don't have to lose anything anymore that you basically can bring almost everything from your iPhone to your Samsung and you have a download uh, Windows version, a download Mac version and I do have a video on the Windows version if that's what you need to do this one of course is for the Mac so we're going to download and we are downloading right now you also do have an uh, instructional PDF if you need that, but it should be uh, relatively easy once we show you this. And so now we're going to install this. And there we go. this and here we have it so right here we have the Samsung smart switch package so we're going to click on that and here we have it so you now just make sure it meets all the minimum requirements right here and I'm just going to kind of skip through some of these you kind of click agree because you have read everything of course and you're just going to install um, on your the position of your choosing we're just going to install right there and then we're going to type in our password And that's going to install the package for the Samsung Smart Switch. As I said, this can take as long as two minutes, so don't worry if it's taking a little bit of time. It'll all be over soon. And now we restart. And now that we have restarted our computer, we're going to go to our apps and launchpad and then click the Samsung Smart Switch. And we're going to click Agree, of course. And then you're going to plug in your new Samsung device. And as we plug it in, it's going to, uh, you know, connect all of it together. And then as you can see, you can do this from Apple, Blackberry, or uh, older Samsung device. And of course, we are going with the Apple one. That's the one we have. And then we have the backup of the uh, iPhone that we choose. If you have multiple iPhones, you can choose from multiple different ones of them. So keep that in mind. And then we're going to go to next. And then you see all of what we have available. 
Now, if we did have contacts, calendar, messages, memos, voice memos, those all are transferable, including podcasts. You also, of course, have all the multimedia as well, as well as applications list, wallpaper, and bookmarks. For the time of this uh, purpose, we're just going to uh, do this section over here, and we're going to hit Start Transfer, and of course, those are very quickly uh, transferred. So, we have that done now. And it's just letting you know that uh, in order to get the app list, that you're going to want to download the Samsung Smart Switch um, app on the Google Play Store. What this will allow you to do is it'll allow you to show you um, old apps uh, that you had, say uh, a game like Words with Friends. If it wasn't on Android, which it is, it would say, oh, this is, you know, uh, something like Words with Friends. This is called Scrabble. Um, and that would be a good idea. Also, something like iBooks. Oh, we have Kindle or Nook or Google Books. It gives you the closest suggestion to the app if it's not available. And if it is available, of course, it'll uh, tell you where to get the app. All right. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, please give it a like, thumbs up. And if you have any other questions, feel free to ask. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.